So let's move on now. I'm gonna give you guys a killer glute workout and all you need is one of these right here. Remember throughout this whole workout, you wanna keep that core engaged. That means like we talked about in workout one on core, we wanna keep that belly button drawn in toward the spine. You don't wanna hold your breath or tighten your stomach, just suck the belly button in. It's called the draw in maneuver. And you don't wanna do this just during workouts, but throughout your entire day. You'll notice when you do this, your stomach, your low back might be a little bit sore the next day, but it's because we're engaging all those little transverse abdominis, or I promise not to stick with the core. So we're gonna stick with the core muscles there. All right, so what we're gonna do, and make sure you get a resistance band that's fit for your intensity level. You're gonna take the resistance band, put it flat on the ground to your side, you're gonna take the back of the band and loop it around your foot just like so. So you wanna have it right in the center of your foot there, that way it doesn't slip as you're doing this exercise. Okay, now what we're gonna do is come on back here to the handles. You're gonna take a handle in each hand, make sure it's an even amount of slack on both sides. You're gonna cup it around your thumbs, rest your weight on the outside of your hands. You don't wanna rest on the inside because then you're gonna be a little uncomfortable there. Okay, from here now that foot's wrapped around, you're gonna keep that stomach up, hold in, remember, back straight, you don't wanna arch that back too much, you wanna keep it nice and flat. From there, we're gonna kick that leg back, it's called a donkey kick. So you're gonna come straight back to a full extension, squeeze those glutes. Ooh. I feel that after one repetition. You're gonna come up, fully extend, lock that out, this is a little more advanced. So you can even do this, you guys, and I'm gonna show you more of a beginner method after this one right here but this is an excellent glute, work, glute workout. It's also hitting those hamstrings, those quads, that low back sitting engaged. It's awesome. Remember to keep that tummy in nice and tight and engaged. Breathe in, right back. Remember this knee doesn't need to really be touching the pad here. It can skim the pad, but it doesn't need to rest in between your repetitions. 15 to 20 repetitions, and brother, are you gonna feel that in the glutes the next day, no doubt. Okay, let me show you a little more of a beginner method if that may be a little too advanced for you. You're gonna drop that band, come down just your hands, your feet, and you're gonna do this without the band. So you're gonna extend that leg in big squeeze. Keep that head up, bring that knee back in, extend that leg, big squeeze. Okay, now if you wanna go a little more advanced from there, what you're gonna do is opposite hand, opposite leg. You're gonna bring that leg in and extend it out. Keep that core in tight for good stability. Bring that knee in and out. 15 to 20 repetitions on that side. Switch, do that same thing over here. Opposite side. There we go. Now I consider myself a pretty advanced exercise guru here, but even that beginner exercise was a little intense for me. So start with that and work your way up to the band. That way you know you're ready for it and you're not overworking yourself. The last thing you wanna do is get involved with a bunch of injuries or tight muscles. Remember, after all your exercising is done, make sure you stretch for a good 10 to 15 minutes and we'll get into that in a future video. For now, let's take a little breather now. We're done with some glutes. We're gonna go on and hit some quads and even some more glutes. Let's go. Okay guys. Right now, we're going to our ball wall squats. This is great for beginners and advanced. So what we're gonna do is take a wall, make sure that wall's solid. You don't wanna pick a flimsy wall because you might fall through it. So you wanna pick a solid wall, put this ball right in the small, right in the middle of that lower back, right where that back begins to arch. You wanna make sure that ball's right there. You're gonna stand straight, feet are shoulder width apart. You do not want your feet too far back. Because if they are, when I go down and do a squat, you can see how my knees are gonna travel over the point of my toe, and I definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna bring those feet out in front of me so I can comfortably squat down. Now from here, I'm gonna rest my hands right here on my hips. Keep that chest nice and straight. I don't wanna be drooping the shoulders. Roll those shoulders back, head back, chin tucked. Stomach's in nice and tight. We're gonna lower that body with a two second count. So we're gonna go down one, 1,000 to 1,000, the point where we're at about 90 degrees, right here. From there, what we're gonna do is just pause for about two seconds, really get those quads burning, drive straight back up. Now when we come up, notice my knees aren't fully locked out, they're slightly bent. We never wanna lock those knees fully out when we're doing squats, okay? So we're gonna come right back down, 
two second count. Hold it. Drive through those heels. Don't lock those knees out. Right back down. Now what we're going to do is a much more advanced version of that exercise. So make sure you're ready for this one. You're going to take one of your feet, put that whole foot up against the wall behind you. Make sure this other foot here in front is planted solidly on the ground. You're going to drop straight down like a lunge. We call this a split legged squat. And you are going to definitely feel this in those glutes and the quads. Try. Straight down. Which legs and you do your 15 to 20 repetitions. If you're doing 10 to 12 repetitions, that's okay too. Come on down. Drive up through that heel. Remember, no pressure on the toe. Straight back down, pressure on the heel. Right back up. And there you go, you guys. There are our awesome leg workouts. Okay guys, let's hit up our quick review now. Remember, for beginners, we're going through the circuit one time. For intermediate, two times. For advanced, three to four times. For those advanced workouts, you should take up to about 30 to 40 minutes for this lower body workout. Okay, so let's start. When we, when we began the exercise, we went into the hip bridges. Remember we did a double leg, and then we went to single leg for a little more advanced. And even if you are advanced, you think that's a little bit too easy for you, start with it anyway, just to get that lower body warmed up. After those hip bridges, we went into the ball hamstring curls. For a little more advanced version, we went up single leg, and we even went up onto those toes to hit the calves. Now, right after those core donkey kicks, we went right to our ball squats. Remember, we went from the ball squat, both leg, for beginners, that's a beginner even up to advanced, then for super advanced, we split the legs, and we went down with one leg called the split-legged squat, split-legged lunge, and those are killer for, the, again, the quads and the glutes. You guys, blog in. Let me know what you think. Ask me if you want any other future workouts. These are awesome workouts for lower body and core that we've done so far. Again, let me know what your progress is, and we'll keep them coming, guys. Thanks for watching.